and welcome to my channel. My name is Liz and this is my first ever YouTube video. Uh, this is a weekly setup for January 2021. Obviously I've already done the yearly pages and the monthly spreads for January, but I may go back and do a flip through, kind of break those pages down later on. Uh, I've been bullet journaling for about a year and a half. I'm definitely no artist. I have come a long way in that 18 months though. Uh, but I wanted to do this video just more to see if I could do a YouTube video uh, for bullet journaling and just kind of walk you guys through my weekly setup. So I am doing a winter birch theme for January. So it's just birch trees um, in black and white, so it's all grayscale. And I'm taking my Stadler 0.05 fine liner, pigment liner, excuse me, uh, to mark out these trees. I didn't pre-plan them, I just sketched out the sticky note size boxes for the daily uh, tasks list, but um, then I just kind of let the creative juices take over and sketched out these pen these trees freehand. So some of them are wider and they stretch to the top and the bottom of the page, some of them are thinner and they stop some point below the horizon line, which is the sixth box up from the bottom. And obviously if it's further up it's also thinner so it gives the appearance that it's further back kind of like a landscape theme which is what I'm going for um, I love birch trees I love the black and white bark I love the lack of foliage in the winter time I think it's kind of otherworldly and I was inspired by it so that's the theme that I went for um, here you see me marking in my sticky notes the idea here is that these are sticky notes placed down on top of a picture of a birch forest. So I kind of curled the little corners up, uh, which I thought was really cute, to kind of give it the idea that it's pulling away from the page a little bit. Um, and then I have Monday through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday I combine, since I work during the week and weekends are pretty laid back, there's not too much I have to do. Um, and then a smaller box for just, you know, key tasks for the next week. Now that I've got the basic shapes kind of outlined for these trees, I'm going in and I'm marking them with these tiger stripey looking black spots. Uh, birch trees are known for having these eye-shaped black marks on them. Some people call them the watcher trees for that reason. And that's the effect in general that I'm going for, is these kind of eye-shaped, slanted, they just so happen to look a little bit more like tiger stripes on my trees than I think that I intended, um, looking back in, in retrospect. So I draw my horizon line, if that's what you want to call it, uh, at that six boxes up, and then I continue marking these trees. I will say, having done bullet journaling for the last year and a half that this is probably the most artistic spread design that I came up with. It's also the only one that I think I've done that wasn't inspired by another YouTuber or a picture I saw on Pinterest or Instagram. Um, this is one that I actually just kind of came up with on my own, so I was super proud of it, which I think is part of the reason I wanted to share it with you guys, but yeah. It's just a lot of, of line work with this tiny little nib that I have going on. In the meantime, I can talk about my nails, uh, which are Color Street. They're stick-on, press-on, real nail polish um, that's made into layers. And I get them from my good friend Lainey in Washington State. Um, and this is a combination. Uh, the red glitter is Crantastic, and the white glitter is called Home Sleet Home. Uh, both I thought were really pretty and went well together, and I'll drop a link to Lainey's Color Street page in the description on the video. So we're just about finished up with these lines here. And then I will go into making these dots. Um, there's no real pattern here, I just wanted the trees to have some more definition and look slightly different than the bright white of the pages. Uh, as the background, so I just 
did a bunch of dots all over the place to kind of give them some depth and some realism, I guess. And then I go back and I erase, uh, obviously, the boxes that I drew in. Again, I only drew in the sticky note boxes. I didn't draw in the trees in advance, so that's all I had to erase. Now I'm using the brush pen, the lighter of the two, which is the N75, to kind of create a shadow effect on these trees. And I just filled in completely the ones off in the distance so they would look like they were further back. And then once I have those done, I write in with the Fudineske pen the dates for the week. I don't do a mini calendar because I don't use them really. I just reference back the monthly calendar. But I write in, you know, the days of the week and the notes and the next week. And then I go in and I add kind of like a shadow to the trees that you can see the base of. And a drop shadow to give these sticky notes the appearance that they are floating slightly above this background so they look like they're you know kind of popping out a little bit I do love drop shadows so I had to go back and refilm because I forgot to fill in these branches the first time around um, if you see a lighting difference it's because I don't have any kind of fancy lights for my desk or anything I just kind of film this on my iPhone and it was a little bit later so the lighting outside had changed but basically I didn't freehand or I freehanded these I didn't plan them out or pencil them in either obviously or I wouldn't have forgotten them the first time uh, I just kind of see an empty spot say hey a branch looks good here and then fill in these you know black branches coming off of these black and white trees uh, again trying to go more wintry than you know creepy Halloween vibes but I think I achieved the, the effect I was looking for. Anyway, that is the end of this video, so I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch, and I will be posting other videos, and I hope you guys will check those out as well. Uh, again, this is Liz, and until next time, guys, bye.